guys welcome back to the channel now today we're going to be doing another recap of tlc's hit show my 600 pound life you know the fatty community we love my 600 pound life we say fatty community i'm a part of the fatty community if you're not a fatty you're probably a fatty at heart okay anyway this is season nine episode five now this season in my opinion has been like quite different than what we've seen in the past like it seems like before like in uh season eight or whatever they would either succeed or fail you know what i'm saying like it was either one and the one or the other and this season has been a little bit different needless to say episode five was not much different so far out of this season episode five has been my favorite that being said guys let's get right into the damn recap Okay, guys, this uh, episode was featured around Melissa, who was 36 years old, and she lives in Sunrise, Florida. Her weight currently at this time is unknown. Now, what I found strange about, like, just this picture, just this picture in particular, like, it's almost like she's just, she's so small and compact. But come to find out that Melissa is not even five feet tall so if she is 600 pounds or 600 pounds plus like that kind of weight is legit just crushing her body she is able to give herself a shower the bathroom was a little bit questionable i don't know what that is all over the uh toilet seat but you know at least the woman is still able to get up and care for herself melissa says a lot of her issues stem from her childhood when her mother would overfeed her to comfort her from the verbal abuse that she was always putting out to her daughter. Not only did her mother overfeed her, she would also make sure that she ate everything on her plate. When her parents divorced, Melissa also used food to cope. When she was 15, she was in a relationship, she ended up becoming pregnant, and her mother made her have an abortion, which also she used food to get through that difficult time in her life. She went to college for a while, but eventually dropped out. She also was a receptionist for uh, quite a while, but eventually lost her job. Uh, Melissa also has lost both of her parents unexpectedly. So it's just her. She doesn't have any children. Um, she didn't talk about having any siblings. So basically she has one childhood friend that still comes and sees her, but for the most part, she's on her own. Now, this friend, unfortunately, seems to be somewhat, they didn't show how much, but somewhat of an enabler because um, in the scene here, she was shown bringing Melissa quite a bit of food. Now, Melissa is going to go see Dr. Now, but what I thought was completely different than any of the other episodes that we've seen in the past is that Melissa is going to go fly to Houston to see Dr. Now. So, like she she she's big but she can't be that big like normally i don't even think the the previous people who go on the show have even that's even crossed their mind to board a plane but she not only did she uh she got into a car to in a van she sat in a seat they didn't have to remove the seat they didn't have to throw her in the back of the van and cram her in there and shut the door it was just like a, a normal average size person she got into the van they dropped her off at the uh, airport she walked there was no walker use there was no wheelchair there was none of that so whatever weight that melissa is she's in pretty good condition a lot of people of different sizes depending on their health you know like she might be uh bigger than some of the other people that we've seen on past episodes but be in better shape and and be able to actually move and get around better but yeah she ends up flying down to see dr now um, because she doesn't think that she can sit in a car because she's in florida to texas it's too long of a ride so she flies down to see doctor now now when melissa weighs in she weighs in at 592 pounds doctor now mentions that melissa's bmi is 115 one of the biggest that they have seen because she is under five feet tall so she's compressed like yeah she's she's not 600 pounds but because of her height 
it's doing so much to her body. Like, I think he said the life expectancy of somebody her weight and height is 50 years old. Now, Melissa is back in Florida and says she is doing everything that she is supposed to be doing. She says she's been following the exercise plan with ease, but the food has been the hardest part to adjust to. But there has been days where she's been off track, but she's not letting that stop her. She just says when, if she gets off track, the next day she just gets right back on the diet plan. Um, but back in Houston, Melissa weighs in at 548 pounds. That is a total weight loss of 44 pounds. Now that's a little bit off of the normal goal that doc, you know, that doctor now wants his patients to meet to get approved for the weight loss surgery and wants her to lose 40 more pounds in two months. Now back home again, Melissa is doing even more. She's going out in public. She's even going out to um, see. She has um, a problem with social anxiety. She's gotten used to staying in. She doesn't like to go out. She feels like people are, you know, staring, gawking at her. So she normally has people pick up her groceries. She doesn't go out often at all. But now she's talked to a therapist and, um, you know, she's trying to work her way back out into public. And now she's going down to the pool to get exercise and to also you know, tackle her social anxiety. Now back in Houston, she has weighed in at 507 pounds, a total loss so far of 85 pounds. Melissa is very, very happy about this. Doctor now approves Melissa for her weight loss surgery, but tells her like she tells, like he tells everybody else that you have to move to Houston, you know, to get the support and everything that you need after you have the surgery. We've seen a lot of people move to Houston um, once they meet their weight loss go to have their surgery. Melissa does not want to move to Houston. She says her support group is in Florida, and she wants to know if there's any way around it. And Dr. Now says only if she loses even more weight. So Dr. Now tells her if she loses another 100 pounds on her own in three months, then he would let her stay in Florida and still um, approve her for the weight loss surgery. So and that's what that's where the crazy twist of this episode um, comes in at is that Melissa lost the weight to have the weight loss surgery like he would go ahead and schedule that surgery probably within the next 30 days um, she would just have to probably lose like another 20 or 30 pounds and be able to have that surgery and be good to go she's ready she's met her go but she doesn't want to move to Houston so she's agreed to lose another 100 pounds on her own without the weight loss surgery as long as she gets to stay in Florida. Now back in Houston after three months Melissa weighs in at 469 pounds a loss of only 38 pounds so she's 62 pounds shy of the goal that doctor now set for her to lose um, another 100 pounds in order to have the weight loss surgery and be able to stay in Florida. Melissa is still set on not moving to Houston and Dr. Now says it's not a good idea, but is willing to give her another chance. But she has to lose the 62 pounds in two months. And if she doesn't do that, then she's just no longer a patient. Melissa, again, instead of just saying, I'm going to move to Houston. Let me go ahead and get the weight loss surgery. I'll move, move to Houston, do what I need to do. And then, you know, that's that. She's like, no, she said, I'll lose the 62 pounds in two months. Back home again, Melissa is saying she's doing everything she needs to. She's also getting out of her apartment more. She's going grocery shopping on her on her own. And she's also met a guy that her friend has introduced her to. So she's a lot more happier. She's and it looks like she's sticking to what she, you know, she says she's doing. Getting out more, exercising more, eating right. She's looking good. But she goes back to Houston for her final weigh in. And Melissa weighs in at 440 pounds, a recent weight loss of 29 pounds, but a total weight loss since the show started of 153 pounds. Doctor now tells her again that she has to move to Houston so she can get the support that she needs. Melissa said that she wanted some time to think about it. She goes back home and says, and I don't know if, if it's because she has this new boyfriend, which you know how it is, you know, when it's been a long time since, you know, you've had somebody, you've been single for a while and then you finally meet somebody and, you know, does she want to move out of town and possibly, you know, ruin that relationship, even though like probably it's going to be the best thing she needs because doctor now says in order for her to maintain this 153 pound weight loss, she needs this tool. But Melissa has decided to uh, stay in Florida and just lose the weight on her own. And that's where 
the show ended. I thought was, you know, like we had Melissa who, and that's what's crazy about this episode. Like there, there's, there's always like a twist to the end of it. Melissa actually, you know, met off her weight loss goals, just like we've seen um, Thedrick on his episode, but he couldn't have the surgery because of his heart. Now here we have Melissa who's actually healthy enough to have the surgery. She's lost the weight that she needs the, uh, to have the surgery, but she doesn't want to leave Florida, which is weird because before you even sign up for the program, you kind of know like what the deal is. Like this is nothing new. Everybody who's probably a part of this program, I'm sure gets a contract or they've seen the show. They know how it works. After you lose the weight that you need to get down to that number to have your weight loss surgery, you're moving to Houston. So she knew that going into it. So it was weird that um, she decided to stay in Florida. Like I said, it might be maybe because she has this new boyfriend. I don't know. I just hope that, you know, Melissa stayed on the right path because she seemed like a really good person. I love Melissa. Um, and I really hope that, like I said, that she stayed on track. I would really like to see her get the, the surgery. But, you know, and the thing is, she is capable of losing it on her own as long as she sticks to it. I just hope you know how it is with relationships that her and her boyfriend don't break up and she ends up because she even said in the beginning like she kept having all these things happening to her like she lost her mom she lost her dad when she lost her job all these things were tied into her um, weight gain and her gaining weight because she you know emotionally was eating so if something happens to this new relationship is she going to go back to you know emotional eating that's where the weight loss surgery would have been a great tool probably to help her in therapy at that time I don't know I guess hopefully we shall see Melissa's updates uh when that time comes you all let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments and I will see you guys on the next one peace Oh,